It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. I believe I've left the best till last in Ukrainian craft beer week here on Relo Craft Beer. This is Midnight Velvet Imperial Stout. It's in a 330 milliliter bottle. 375 milliliter bottle to be exact. It's coming in at 14.5% ABV. 14.5% ABV. The only bit of English on the back of this bottle says Heaven Hill Bourbon. So I've I've never had Heaven Hill Bourbon because um, I'm not a bourbon drinker, but it's bottle number 100, which makes it even more special. It's by Vava Brew. You've got that little metal tag on the front, which I think is fantastic. Without further ado then, that's the presentation. The presentation is fantastic. Now, as you all know, or as some of you kind of long-term followers on the channel know, you'll know, I don't know if you can see that, whenever I get a paper seal like this on the bottle, I'm very, very careful. Very careful as to not break it. Uh, I think in this instance, I'm trying my best. There we go. I think I've I think I've got it. We may have this. I'm trying to keep this intact because. Yeah, that'll do. I'll have that. I'll take that all day long. Now, these little paper tickets. I don't know if you can see. I, I've got some Fuller's Limited Edition. I've got some Orkney Brewery beers here. Um, most of them are Fuller's. But I, I generally stick this type of thing to the inside of my cupboard. Um I'll find some room. I'll find some room for that. But anyway, let, let's get this. It's, it's a blue waxed top. Look at this. 14.5% eh? ABV. Eh? This is, fingers crossed, Ukrainian nectar of the gods. 2022, I, I don't really have to remind you guys of what's going on in Ukraine right now. I want to concentrate on the, the positives, the positives that this brewery would want me to concentrate on. And that is that I have what looks like a terrific barrel aged imperial stout from them. Opening the bottle. I have to say this is the last beer that I'm reviewing from Vava Brewing Company and this is the quietest their beer has been. This, some of the beers have been a little bit kind of woof, as you open the beer. But of course it's come through through Ukraine in not great circumstances so of course we're gonna you know we're gonna let that type of thing fly beer in the glass look at this everywhere look at this hey eh? Look at that cab look at that carbonation. I'm gonna put it up to the camera. Look at that carbonation. 14.5% ABV, the smallest bubbles you will ever likely see in a beer. Look at that. Now, when I was in my youth, when I was getting into beer, 
I went to Wells and Young's Brewery and I, I, I spoke to the head brewer, Jim Robinson. And Jim Robinson, and I remember these words right now. It was over 10 years ago. It was 2011. So it was 11 years ago. But I remember the words that he told me to this day. He said, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. And that has never left me. The smaller the bubble, the better the beer. Look at this. I mean, that, that is micro. That is micro carbonation. Unbelievable. Jet black beer in the glass. Great lacing. Great head retention. Aroma. I should really be... It, it, it's a Wednesday morning here in the UK. And I've already reviewed four of the Vava Brewing Company beers. Hence, I'm in the same t-shirt. I've done it in one big batch. But I feel like I should have kept this to, you know, like a, a Friday afternoon. This is, this is definitely a Friday afternoon. Friday evening. Oh my goodness me. Wow. Treacle, roasted malt, chocolate coffee caramel, vanilla, wood, oakiness. That bourbon, which they mentioned on the back of the bottle. What did they say again? The... Oh, I can't even see it now. Heaven Hill Bourbon. That Heaven Hill Bourbon. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, it's like milk. It's like milk. It's like this has come out of... of, of the god cow. She just squeezed her god cow udders. Or somebody squeezed her god cow udders for her. And and it's 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 just produced this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful nectar. It's so creamy and rich. That's the point of that last sentence. It's so creamy and rich and milk-like. Oh, unbelievable. Do you know at Christmas time where you might treat yourself to some Jersey milk? If you go to the supermarket at Christmas time and you go down the, the milk aisle, you'll see Jersey milk and you'll see this really kind of rich, creamy, golden coloured milk. That was my whole point with the, you know, you put that on your cornflakes on Christmas morning and, it, and it's like a different, it's like a different level. It's like a different league. It's about two pounds a pint. You know, it, it, it's a different level of milk. That was my point. That was my, this is like squeezing the teats from the gods, you know. It's a bit of fun at the end of the day, isn't it? Don't take me too serious. The point is, this is rich, creamy, velvety, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours come through. A little bit of raisin, plum, prune on the back end from the, the hops in the beer. There's a little bit of bitterness coming through on the back end. That Heaven Hill bourbon comes through in abundance, absolute abundance. But the fact that they've made this so rich and creamy and luscious is beyond me 14.5 percent abv this is they, they should have called this the, the the queen's jubilee ale this is this is you know I've, I've drank some of these jubilee ales they've been decent the one from max and spencer's was good but this should be you know like a, a jubilee a queen's jubilee it's terrific 
One of the best, if not the best, Imperial Stouts I've drank all year. And i got to mention Brewdog at this stage. Um, I've drank five beers now, all available at your local Brewdog bar. Euro Boozer literally went to Ukraine. They brought back all of the craft beer from Ukraine, Vava Brewing Company's beers. And I've got to be honest with you, starting out this morning at 9am with this Vava Citra American Pale Ale was just delicious. And moving my way through to the Test Drive IPA and the Barrel Faker and the Old Broom. This Old Broom was just fantastic. Fantastic. Brewdog get a lot of negative press these days. And the human brain spreads negative press faster than it will spread good news. So the little bit of good news that Brewdog did here by, by buying most of the Vava Brewing Company beers and, and putting it on their in their fridges has not really been talked about in the craft beer world. But I, I, I want to talk about it. I'm, I'm ready to talk about it because... Fingers crossed, Vava Brewing Company come out the other end of this awful situation that they find themselves in, in Ukraine. And, and they, they get to the other end and, and they become, and quite rightly, quite rightly, a world-renowned brewery. Every single beer that I've had from Vava Brewing Company has been absolutely incredible. It's just got better. Do you know when you see people at the Olympics jumping the, you know, you see them jumping, what's that thing where they jump backward and they jump in over a blooming pole and they keep raising, the point is they keep raising the bar. They keep raising, every single beer from Vava Brewing Company, the bar has been risen. The American Pale Hill was tremendous. The IPA was amazing. The, the old broom was fantastic. I thought I was drinking a beer. I could have been drinking a beer from a Belgian craft beer bar. This Imperial that was amazing. And that barrel faker, well, that was just really interesting. But I hope they get... I hope, because Euro Boozer went... And, and, and paid the money and, you know, brought their beers to the UK and Brewdog bought them, bought the beers. I hope, I hope that Vava Brewing Company are able to get to the other end of the, the, this awful situation that they find themselves in. And then, and then coming out of that then, that they find themselves as like a, a multi-award winning worldwide brand that they carry on producing terrific beer and everybody knows them for it you know fair play to them this is amazing absolutely amazing the drink of the gods that is that, that is the drink of the gods I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!